Okay, guys, I hope you're all well. Um, this is a Mercedes Benz E Class W211. It's a 2006 E320. However, uh, the range does run from 2003 through to 2009. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you a demonstration of the parking sensors. The parking sensors, as you can see right here. Now, first of all, these two lights will stay on when you're under a certain speed. And I believe it to be around about 7 or 8 miles per hour. Once you go over this speed, when you're driving in normal conditions on the road, these lights will go off. So we're stationary right now, we're going to attempt to go forward towards that wall and we'll show you what the sensors will do. Now we're in drive so we'll start to edge forward and just keep an eye on the sensors, see what happens. Nothing as yet, as we start to get closer you will see the lights start to appear. There we go. So, the sensors are first of all, they've picked up that we are getting closer. Let's move closer still. More lights on. Closer still. And there we got one red light on there another red light on there in the middle and the beeping was basically telling us not to go any further and as you can see we are pretty much close to the wall in fact what I'll do is I'll get out and I'll show you how close we are to the wall actually sorry the car has just rolled back a little bit there right so put it in park put the handbrake on I'm gonna get out and show you where we are So we are pretty damn close, but there is a little bit of leeway. It's not magnificently, it's not magnificently uh, close. So it's good to know that it does give you a little cushion. Now, what we're going to do now is do the opposite, and we're going to go in reverse. Now, the reversing sensors, that's in there. I'm looking through the rear view mirror. I'm trying to figure out which way is the best way to do this. Obviously we are on private land. It wouldn't be advisable to do this if you were um, sort of on the on the roads or anything like that. So you can see there's two lights on there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reverse back now. It is quite a way back actually so I'll just try and speed this up a bit. Apologies if my camera does go off the sensors, but I'm actually looking in all of my mirrors and looking behind me Making sure that I'm not going to hit anything You can probably see more of the actual camera at the minute Alright, we are nearly where I want to be so we're going to start reversing towards the wall now just to, I'm just going to turn around and show you that's the sensors there but obviously it's not advisable to do that so what you advise to do is obviously use the reversing cameras so we'll just go back Oh, sorry, not the cameras, the sensors. There you go, more lights on, more lights on, more lights on. Stop, don't go any further. So there you go. That is a short demonstration. Hi, by the way. Uh, of the re reversing sensors and the forward parking sensors. It's, they call it the Parktronic. Uh, if you do have any trouble with this, sometimes if you uh, put your car into reverse and all you get is the, the plain red lights, nothing else, uh, then it looks like you do have a fault with one of the sensors. So you would generally need to use the iCarsoft i980 kit, which is available just by clicking the link directly below this video. 
um, it will tell you which sensor is at fault. So I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.